Hey guys, welcome back to my Formula One 2020 My Team Mode. Our team, Tokyo Racing, has done quite um, okay uh, in the last size, no points because our car has been broken. As you can see, that we are earning 700k now. Let's get ready to go to round three. So we're gonna feel the calendar. We have several days, uh, nine days, because you can see on the top right. Uh, Improve a few um, areas, and we want to utilize all the nine um, these. So uh, we want to improve durability, but and then also we want to improve the others. So. our claim uh, level as you can see we are at the moment on the top right still level 3 we're still top bottom faster than us and we have our money no not much not gonna get another update we don't have sufficient money to improve all these areas, all these facilities. We only improve the quality control, quality control for strand at the moment. Um, about RD, we have a lot of points, so there's a lot of progress still. And we are almost at the level of Alpha Romeo. So we're in that between 450. 400 500 uh, performance level. So we have aero chassis and posture. Okay. Now modify. Started uh, this around, uh, uh, I have increased 15 from the initial uh, level. Still on hard level, not enough to go to the next level. As you can see, that. the team, not bad. 
So this is more logical. We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. Bottas, Verstappen and Sebastian Vettel. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. Welcome along to the Vietnamese capital of Hanoi, a vibrant city built on the banks of the magnificent Red River. Today it's the backdrop for the latest round of the Formula One World Championship, with a circuit specifically designed to encourage overtaking opportunities. I think we could be in for a cracking race today. A lap of Hanoi circuit then, 3.4 miles around the Vietnamese capital. A number of the 23 corners take their inspiration from other great circuits, hopefully creating plenty of passing opportunities. And with me as usual is Anthony Davidson. Now let's kick off our conversation with Alexander Albon. That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? There are never any guarantees in this business, but certainly the performance last time out would have boosted their confidence coming into this one. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Vettel, Hamilton, Alexander Albon, and Leclerc, Ricardo, Ocon, Sainz, and Sergio Perez, Kvyat, Stroll, Hirani, and Norris, Gasly, Grosjean, Kimi Raikkonen, and Kevin Magnussen, Giovinazzi, Russell, Galeel, and Nicholas Latifi. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. So now, the fire front lights. Here we go. As you can see, uh, our car is going from outside. On the track, foot outside of the curve, but we managed to rejoin safely. And yeah, I did not manage to get the footage of the start, uh, but that's all that I have. And we jump a lot uh, of cars, and we're now in P4. Yeah, during the start I used the overtake uh, button also, so it improves uh, our speed during the starting. Squeeze him a little bit. 
Thomas Chris Heng, Carlos member of the last press at Bahrain with its Chris Heng. What do you think it was, Ants, that gave them the edge over the competition today? I'd say it was down once again to good, consistent driving. Nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves. once again after an excellent race weekend it's great Bartle to see them up on that Bottas. podium once again So let's review the updated driver standings. That lead at the top of the table has shrunk somewhat today. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? I have to give it to Hirani. That was a commanding performance today. Yeah. Very impressive indeed. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes moved to the top of the table. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. Well, that was certainly an incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula One action soon. Yep, don't 
YouTube here, dude. I'm watching this series. I'm not sure to end off the thing. Maybe we're gonna increase the difficulty again. As you can see, that happy face, Hiroki Nakamura, has improved the acclaim. And we're almost to level 5. And we will unlock a new sponsor soon. And as I can see. Yep. We did not earn a lot. I damaged the car. Thank you. 